He is named the King of Pride by the transgender activist Car Carmen Carrera for his contributions to the trans awareness. As the mother of the ballroom community and cast member of the HBO uh, season, Legendary, we present the King of Pride Award to DJ Ephraim Adam. Give him a round. Come on, come on, baby. Tell me, keep, keep, keep giving it, keep giving it to him. Congratulations, my love. Thank you, London. Just hold that for me. Thank you, London. Um, they did tell me two days ago I was getting an award, so this is what I could write in time since I don't tell nobody nothing. <laughs> so real quick, so we can move on with the rest of the show and stuff, I just want to thank um, New England Pride for always having this event every year. Um, I want to thank Carmen Carrera and the entire transgender community for endorsing the award. Um, she's the one who came up with that. I want to thank Six Flags for partnering with me for five years. Um, as you said, I do want to thank Todrick Hall for shouting out the Uprising 1969 EP. Um, I want to thank the Stonewall 50th World Pride for always having me. Um, I especially want to thank Global Pride for collaborating with me uh, during the pandemic for virtual COVID programming and reaching everybody in the community when things were shut down. Um, I definitely want to thank the contestants of HBO Legendary um, and everything that they're doing for the ballroom community, creating black queer spaces to express who we are in our art. Um, I'm almost done, so they don't cut to commercials. I want to thank those who um, rallied for me to march in the March in Washington, um, hosted by Al Sharpton and Martin Luther King Jr. III for Black Lives Matter. Um, and finally, I just want to say that I have, you know, I've experienced a lot of homophobia in my life um, and racism, and I'm still kind of recovering from those traumas like everyone here. So I feel like we can um, all relate, right? Like we're not perfect and we're all going through our own problems and our own issues and telling our stories that hopefully help the next person, okay? So what this award means to me is that it's not about being perfect, it's about creating spaces for us to have hard conversations, um, focus on our mental health, um, begin the healing process of trauma, being queer people, uh, walking through society. Um, and when I retire from DJing and things like that, there's gonna be other people who receive this King of Pride Award, because I never viewed myself that way. But there's gonna be other people to build off of this foundation. Um, oh, and last but not least, I wanna thank all of the nightlife industry, all the drag queens, all the performers, all the club owners, all the drag bunches that have invited me to be the soundtrack of their lives. I don't I don't take that for granted, okay? So um Thank you guys, everyone, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, London. Thank you, London.